Hey Aries, this is going to be a general reading for you, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for October 16th through the 31st. And in jumping into your energies, Aries, I am feeling like you are feeling very confused right now. And I'm, I'm sitting in this meditative state before, you know, starting your video. And it's like, there are these messages coming by, you know, flying by, seeing things. And it's just, I keep feeling this energy of you feeling confused about something or just confused about life in general. Um, I feel like, you know, whether this be in relationship, career, wherever you are in your life, I feel like there might be, for some of you, this is not going to resonate with everyone, but I feel like there's just, you know, not knowing the next step, not knowing what to do. Um, but I do feel like there are answers there for you because I'm picking up on an energy of someone that has passed on. It feels like a motherly energy. So it could be a mother or grandmother energy. could be also an aunt for some of you as well. I feel like they're around you and I feel like they're giving you signs. But because you're in a state of confusion, you can't see it. You can't hear it. You can't feel it. Or maybe some of you do and you're just, you know, thinking that maybe it's just a coincidence or thinking that maybe you're making this up in your head. But it's not the case. You're actually receiving some divine guidance from um, your loved ones. So it's about tapping into that energy because, again, I feel like they're helping you with trying to help you through this phase of confusion. Um, but you have to be opening and willing and receptive to the energies and to the messages. OK, um, so let's go ahead and get started with your reading. OK, I'm going to pull some messages for the overall energy. At the bottom of the deck, I have the five of air here. Okay, so some of you could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius energy, or maybe this could be in your chart. Okay, I feel like some of you are wanting to take a leap to do something new. Okay, but I feel like there's like a fine line between you and this. There's something in between you and whatever this is that you want to do, whether this be a person, whether this be your thought process, um, really not feeling confident in this decision because you're just not sure you're not receiving the validation or you're thinking that you're not receiving the validation that you need to move forward when in, actual, when in, when in actuality you actually are receiving the messages from a divine source, okay? It's just something that is unseen, you know, with the physical eye. But there is guidance there for you if you are able to tune into it, okay? So I do feel like there is this... Um, energy of wanting to, you know, start something new. I feel like there is a new beginning, but I feel like you're unsure about it. I feel like you're confused about it. This could be a relationship. This could be some, some of you wanting to move somewhere, you know, relocate. Um, some of you that are, you know, stuck in a job situation or, you know, stuck between a job and being an entrepreneur. However it resonates for you, with you, take that information and apply it to your situation, okay? Um, but I do feel like there is some change on the horizon for you. Okay. With this number five and it's, you know, number five is about change and it could also be about conflict, but I feel like the conflict is coming in with you being conflicted about this confusion that you may be, that you may be in the whirlwind in. Okay. Because I could feel this energy as I was like getting to, I hadn't even started your meditation yet. I was just going into it and there was like this motion of like being spun around like things going in the circle confused about something I'm going round and round and round and I feel like there is no ending to this and I don't know what to do okay that kind of energy is there then we have the page of waters which seems to be a popular card between the signs all the signs right now again with this page of water um, I'm feeling like some of you are in a place of feeling ungrounded Okay, you're not grounded right now. Okay, I feel like some of you could just be floating. Some of you could be in this state of just, you know, um, when I say top heavy, <laughs> I'm meaning this energy of really not like your, it's almost like your, your earthly chakras are out of alignment. And maybe some of you have your head in the clouds. Maybe some of you are in this, you know, creating this fantasy world of, you know, what you want your life to look like. But in reality, that's not what it's looking, looking like at this moment. So I feel like, again, finding the balance so that you could feel, you know, balanced and grounded here and rooted in the earth 
um, and also so that you can be able to hear and see those signs that your loved ones who have transitioned are giving you because the information is there, the insights are there, the love is there, they're surrounding you. I mean, it's a beautiful energy. It's just a matter of you tuning in and hearing that message from them as well, okay? And then we have the page of fire, your energy could also be collect, connected to Leo or Sagittarius as well. Um, with this page of fire here, I feel like there's, again, I, not again, but this is what I was feeling in the meditation. It's like something, something is shifting. Something is like, I feel like something's going to be a shock to you during this time frame, you know, the 16th through the 31st. I remember time is fluid. So this could happen at any point. We're just doing this reading for this time frame. Um, but I feel like there's something that's going to shock you. I don't know if this is good, bad, or indifferent. I don't know how it's going to show up for you, but there is this sense that there's going to be some sort of um, shock effect that's, you know, that's going to occur. I don't feel like it's a bad thing. I don't. But, you know, it could be good or it could be an ind indifferent. Um, but I do feel like there's something unexpected, something that's, you know, gonna, sh gonna shock you that's coming up. Um, so, you know, it's something to be on the lookout. Maybe, you know, some of you are actually tapping into that and tuning into that information that your loved ones that have transitioned, um, tapping into that information. And maybe you thought you were incapable of, you know, actually hearing and seeing the signs and maybe you get your aha moment or maybe you get the you know, the guidance that you're needing to move forward with whatever this is, because there is a new beginning, but there's something in the middle of that, okay? So it's like you, whatever this is, this dead space in the middle, okay? And then whatever's on the other side of that, it's like a new beginning, but it's almost like you have this dead space is like the confusion where you are right now, okay? And it's like you needing to surpass that in order to step into this newness, okay? So I've already pre-shuffled my cards. We're going to get into the energy for the 16th through the 31st, okay? All right, what do we have for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for October 16th through the 31st? What are the energies? One more shuffle. So I have the Four of Pentacles, the uh, Nine of Pentacles, and the Four of Wands, okay? So um, in the center of your energy for the 16th through the end, through the 31st, I have the Nine of Pentacles, okay? I could be speaking to a single woman right now, okay? Um, but I can be speaking to a single woman who is looking for some sort of commitment, who may be, you know, on the verge of a commitment, who may already be in a commitment, or who's anticipating making this commitment official with, you know, a marriage, a celebration with this Four of Wands here, which is definitely your energy. I feel like your focus now, maybe this confusion is a person, okay? Maybe some of you are caught in between your thoughts and feelings and a person, and I feel like there's this energy of you wanting more from this relationship, and maybe this person isn't delivering, or maybe this person is delivering, but you are scared of something. Sorry, uh, my computer. Make sure we're good. Okay. Um, but I feel like there might be a fear. So maybe this confusion in the center of this is a fear of something, a fear of taking this leap of faith, okay? Like we discussed in this five of air, okay? With being in conflict about this change that's trying to occur and you're just not sure and, and wishing maybe some of you are wishing that I wish my loved one was around to be able to help me and give me advice on this situation um, to meet this person or to, you know, um, to counsel me through this relationship when in fact they are. Um, but it's just a matter of you tapping into that energy, okay? Because I do feel like you wanting a happy home. You're wanting a commitment. It's right here in the cards. I feel like for some of you, again, talking to the single woman, you're not wanting to be single anymore. I feel like you, you know, you kind of have things figured out for yourself. I'm not going to say that you have it all figured out. Um, but I feel like when it comes to the love front for some of you, this is where that that confusion lies for some of you, okay, because you're wanting one thing, but you're giving off another thing, okay, and then the four of pentacles is here, it's like needing to protect yourself for what, what are you protecting yourself from, Aries, is the question you have to ask yourself, what are you protecting yourself from, let's clarify this four of pentacles, why is the four of pentacles here? The star card in reverse. Ooh. The fool. 
Mm, so two major arcana. So some of you are definitely going through some sort of transition. And I feel like you need to be in a place of hope and trust because right now I just feel like you're not, you're lacking the faith um, with this star card here in reverse. And this fool is like, you're wanting to take the step, but you're, again, there's a, there's, there's a bit, a bit of uncertainty there. Okay. Because you just feel like you're, I feel like you're needing some validation from someone. Um, and possibly someone who isn't around anymore that you probably confided in and probably that you you trust their advice and they're just not, you know, they're not around anymore. So it's almost like you're not able to trust yourself because you're used to leaning on this person for the guidance, but know that the guidance is there. And what your heart is saying, it's, it's like your loved ones you reside in your heart. So now you have to tune into your heart space to figure out um, you know, what it is that you're wanting, okay? And our heart chakra is the chakra that aligns us and it's the center of everything. It's this, It's right in the center of our upper and our lower, our spiritual and our earthly, um, in the earthly realm. So it is the core of everything, okay? It actually connects us to our, you know, our higher self and it connects us here on earth. So tuning into your heart space right now is going to give you the answers and knowing that, Tuning into your heart space is where your loved one's advice and their guidance lies. So what are you feeling in your heart space, okay? There's no need to have to protect yourself from what, okay? Are you protecting yourself from you? Do you feel like you need to protect yourself from someone else? If you feel that way, then maybe you shouldn't be with this person, okay? If you're feeling like you need to be a bit resistant with this person, okay? So tune into that heart space there, okay? And that's part of the advice it feels like already that we're moving into. Tune into that heart space because your loved ones are speaking to you right there, okay? It's right here. The answers are right here for you, okay? But I feel like you guys, I feel like you're just in this state of being perplexed. You're just not sure which way to go. And it, it has you confused because maybe your mind and your heart are not in accordance. Or, and you're just, again, not in a space of like having a clear answer, Okay. Right now, I'm a firm believer of, you know, your mind and your your mind and your heart, you know, working in accordance, but sometimes that's not always the case. Right now, it feels like your heart is giving you the answer, okay? So tune into your heart space. What is it feeling, okay? What vibration, um, what vibration, what vibration are you feeling when you ask yourself this question, is this person the one, okay? Um, am I doing, am I on the right track with this person or am I on the right track in life? Your heart space is going to give you that answer if you tune into that. Okay. All right. So let's, um, because it seems like we're already getting into the advice, but this is the energy of, you know, some of you are single and probably, you know, have an opportunity to move into, you know, something a bit more serious, but there's this energy of, you know, being a bit perplexed, being confused, being a bit hesitant um, and reluctant to move forward uh, due to fear. Okay. All right. What advice do you have for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus for October 16th through the 31st? One more shuffle. So I have the Four of Swords, the Page of Wands, and the Two of Cups. So we are definitely talking about a relationship here for you guys. But in the center of your um, in, of, of your advice is your energy, the Page of Wands. Okay, this energy is of something coming in for you. Again, look, this is double here, double confirmation. The Page of Fire and the Page of Wands, same card here. So there is, I feel like again, a shock factor for some of you. Again, like I said, I don't feel like it's a bad thing. I feel like it's something that's good or indifferent. However, it shows up to, um, for you. I, you know, I don't know how it's going to show up for you individually, um, unless you're scheduling a personal reading or something like that. Okay, but this page of wands is definitely some news coming in for you. And again, um, I feel like you're accepting of the news, but I don't know how you're going to move forward with the news as of yet. We'll see what happens with the cards. Okay, I also have the four of swords here. Um, <clears throat> Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy, and then the two of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, um, could also be a Leo as I'm looking at it as well. Okay. So I feel like, um, you're moving this information. This is what I'm seeing as this page of wands moves towards the two of cups. I feel like there is information that is going to 
push you forward in this relationship and making this commitment to this person, whomever this is for some of you, okay? And even if it's not a person, if it's a commitment to a job offer, a career, or business venture, or however it applies to you, I feel like you're going to maybe, you know, begin to gain a bit more confidence when you start working from your heart space. Because I, I feel like, Aries, you have a lot of questions right now that are, have gone unanswered, but I feel like there are a lot of answers to be given to you if you can tune into that, tap into that, okay? So whatever this is with this person or, you know, this thing, whatever this is that you're confused about right now, I feel like it's something with this Four of Swords. You need to, you know, think about it a little bit more. Okay, I feel like you need to rest on it, um, but I feel like not too long because, you know, as the four swords, it moves to the page of wands and then there's an energy of, I feel like this, like a, like a faster moving energy. I feel like, you know, some of you need to take the time to contemplate on it, okay, understand it, really tap into the heart space, you know, allow yourself to receive the insights that are coming through from your loved ones through your heart space. And I feel like this gives you the momentum to say, you know what? Okay, I can do this. I have the courage, the confidence to do it. Um, I'm going to push forward and I'm going to build this partnership with this person. Okay. I want to clarify this page of wands. Why is the page of, uh oh, why is that page of cups wanted to come out? Definitely it could be some new love for some of you. Why is the page of cups? Why is the page of wands here? Page of Staffs, Queen of Cups. And the Will of Fortune. Okay, there we go, Aries. So the Page of Staffs. So now we have the Page of Staffs coming out again. Now we have triple confirmation that there is something that's coming in that's delivering some sort of shock factor, some sort of unexpected news, something that's going to push the momentum forward, okay? And then look at this page of staffs clarifying the page of wands, okay? So that double confirmation, but we have triple confirmation here, okay? That some of you are, again, something, some news is coming, okay? Some sort, something is coming, and I feel like this might be answers to some of your confusion, okay? This Queen of Cups, okay, is a Piscean energy, could also be Cancer or Scorpio, but I do feel like there's this energy of you really stepping into your intuition, like we said, like this truth, this heart space, okay? Really stepping into your emotional stability because I feel like this this phase of this confusion that you're experiencing right now kind of has you a bit erratic, kind of has your emotions a bit erratic. And that's why it's, you know, your advice is to, you know, take some time to think about this, to rest on it, you know, but don't take forever, okay? You know, like, I feel like, some of you could possibly take a long time stepping into this because you're just allowing fear to rule. And I feel like you're trying to find some way out of it, whether it's consciously or unconsciously. It's almost like, you know, this is something different. I feel like this is something new, something different that you guys have never really experienced before. And so you, it kind of has you scared a little shitless and you just don't know what to do. And it, you know, you feel this confusion. I also feel like for some of you, you like like I said, there's a, this new relationship, okay? There's a new relationship coming in. So if some of you are getting out of a relationship or have gotten out of a relationship or was dating someone, I feel like there's a possibility of someone new could be coming in, okay? Again, I feel like this is scary for you because it's uncharted territory. And again, feeling into your heart space because the answers are there for you. So again, I feel like you stepping into your intuitiveness, okay? Um, some of you could be on the cusp of a Pisces energy, okay, with this Queen of Cups here. Um, but I do feel like you're wanting, I feel like you're wanting whatever's coming to you. I feel like you've already created it, you've manifested it, you probably even forgot about it. You probably forgot you've asked the universe about it, and now it's showing up, and it's like, oh shit, I'm not ready, you know? But it's like, you know, it's time for you to get ready because this is something that you asked for and you're now at this phase in your life where it's time for you to have it, okay? Which is a beautiful thing, you know, depending on what it was that you were asking for because the will of fortune is here too with this news that things are changing. Things are really changing in your space right now, Aries, okay? And I think that's what has a lot of you guys um, just in a little bit of fear because there's an energy of you not having control of a situation, okay? 
I feel like some of you are stepping into this Queen of Cups and you're allowing yourself to go with the flow, okay? Some of you could also be going against that. But I feel like, you know, most of you are stepping into this idea of just letting things flow and you're trying to change and you're trying to do things a different way than you've done it before. And things are scaring the hell out of you now because you're like, okay, I'm in this flow, but this, these are feelings and emotions and things that are appearing that I've never experienced before. I don't know what to do with it. I don't know how to feel about it. I'm scared because it's out of my control, okay? But just remember that this is something that you created, okay? This two of cups here, this is definitely some sort of, um, you know, a relationship that you're having with someone, whether this be a business relationship or an intimate relationship. So let's clarify this. Why is the two of cups here? Somebody could be asking for, you know, either a hand in marriage for some of you. Maybe this could be the shocking news for some of you. Um, you know, like an unexpected proposal. I mean, or somebody can be asking you to be their partner um, permanently. Well, nothing's permanent, but you know what I mean? Asking you to be a girlfriend or boyfriend, a companion of that nature. You know, like you're not just in a dating phase anymore. It's like, you know, let's make this serious. Let's take this to the next level kind of energy, okay? Um, the Ace of Staff. Yeah, there's definitely this new offer. And I feel like um, you're not going, I feel like you're, I feel like you're going to accept it with this Ace of Staffs here, but I feel like it's a very intense energy between the two of you with this Two of Cups and this Ace of Staffs, okay? This two, of, this Ace of Staffs is clarifying this Two of Cups. It's def there's definitely a strong connection there that you cannot deny, okay? Don't even try to deny it. And remember, this Two of Cups is coming under the Four of Wands, which is the marriage card. Happy home, happiness, you know, happy home, foundation, celebration, coming together, having a divine union. Look at the the um, the the uh, double 11 in this, a new beginning, a new start in love, okay? And the two of cups comes right up under that. So this is definitely a relationship that we're talking about. And there's that double confirmation with this, um, or not the double confirmation, but there's this ace of staffs, a lot of fiery energy, a lot of, you know, a lot of passion and desire that's, um, that's being, you know, had in your world right now and i feel like again this probably was having some of you uh, confused this two of swords is clarifying this two of cups so now we have another num another number two okay so this is about partnership it's about st uh, stability it's about coming together it's about a new beginning but i do feel like again you're not wanting to see something okay this this is leaving you in that confusion stage stage i feel like again some of you are trying to nitpick this person okay you're trying to find something so that you can weasel your way out of this commitment, okay? You, don't do it. I'm not going to let you do it, okay? The devil card, I feel like this is like some sort of addiction that you have. Like, I feel like you're just prone to like finding something so that things won't work out. But then you, but then you complain that you can't find love, okay? When it's right here, Aries. It's right here. It's right in front of you, okay? So if you're on the fence about something in this relationship but you know it's good for you but you're trying to find something, it's right here, okay? It's right here, okay? And I feel like this devil card comes in and it's like it's almost an addiction of you trying to compare and nitpick and find something wrong so that you can weasel your way out of this and this is a pattern and then you're going to complain about it again and then you're going to find yourself in the next pattern of, you know, trying to, you know, you know, fi finding someone that you really like and then finding something with them so that you can't, it's like you're manipulating, okay? You're manipulating yourself, you're ma you're manipulating the situation. It's uh, it's like self-sabotage with this devil card, you know, coming up here, okay? This devil card is telling me, I surrender, okay? Because this person's right here. Surrender, let it go, let it flow, okay? Tap into the heart space right now, okay? Because your loved ones are speaking to you so clearly, so clearly, okay? All right, let's move into your outcome. What's the final outcome for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for October 16th through the 31st? Two of Swords are just wanting to pop out again. One more. So I have the Page of Pentacles, the Page of Cups, and the Two of Wands. I mean, 
Aries, I mean, baby girl, baby boy. I mean, it's in the cards right here. Like it's everything's aligned as it's supposed to be. Look at all of this alignment. Okay. Okay. This four of wands is your overall energy. The two of cups, the partnership is your out is your um your advice. And then look at that. The two of wands. Some of you are in a phase of self-discovery. I feel like some of you are planning out. Some of you could be planning a wedding. Okay. Some of you could be planning a wedding. Maybe some of you are planning a wedding overseas. Maybe some of you are thinking about eloping. Okay. So that could be a final outcome. You might elope or you might start planning the wedding after you receive this proposal, um, you know, during this time frame. Or again, you know, time is fluid. So this can happen at any point. But again, I feel like there is some seriousness between you and this person. But um, again, so I'm, you know, I'm, it's almost like I'm not really talking to those of you that are already married. Um, but if this, you know, applies to you in the career aspect, then, you know, take it how it fits for you. But in the center of your energy is the page of cups. And I really feel like there's this energy of you really stepping into this, um, um this feeling of accepting, okay. Of accepting what you're feeling. Okay. And not trying to go against it. I feel like, you know, after, You've tapped into your heart space as your advice. I feel like you're going to be more open to accepting this love. Okay. That's what it feels like because somebody is there offering you something and want to give it to you, but you have to stop pushing them away. Remember we pulled that devil card because it's about manipulation and self-sabotage, but I feel like you're the one doing it. And again, this could be, you can interchange this. This could be energies of the people that I'm picking up around you, someone that's close to you, but um, this is your reading. So I feel like you're going to, when you tap into your heart space, you're going to be more open to receiving this love and receiving these uh, intuitive nudges. And you're going to have a clearer answer. You know, you're going to have, you're going to see clearer. You're going to feel clearer. Um, so I feel like the confusion's not going to last too much longer for you. Okay. You're going to get the answers that you need. Then we have the page of pentacles and this could be just someone coming in with an offer. Okay. And I feel like it's an offer of love. So we have the page of pentacles going into the page of cups. Okay. So somebody's giving you something. And again, like I said, somebody could be asking you, you know, for your hand in marriage or your hand in commitment, or somebody could be this page of pentacles is connected to material. Somebody could be handing you a ring. Somebody could be handing you a prenup. <laughs> somebody could be handing you some sort of documentation. Um, but I feel like this is something that you, you know, look over. Okay, I feel like this at the beginning of the beginning stages of something, okay, that you accepting something. But I do want to clarify this page of pentacles for you. So I was, oh wow. Okay. I'm gonna put those back though. Because <laughs> I just pulled those. Those flew out of the deck. Why is this page of pentacles here? The Ace of Coins. <laughs> somebody is, I feel like somebody might be going to the altar. The Justice card, Libra Energy, the Page of Coins. Some of you could be dealing with the Taurus, uh, Taurus Virgo, or Capricorn Energy. Because um, there's a lot of Earth on the board. Some of you could be dealing with the Libra, um, Taurus Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, so everybody's here on the board. So, um, Again, somebody's offering you something, and again, it could be some sort of documentation because with this justice card here too, I feel like you're, I feel like maybe you know it's something that needs to be looked over. So if it is a prenup, if it is some sort of documentation, you know, whether it be in career, you're starting a new business, or you're signing, you know, some sort of proposal, some sort of, you know, loan, some sort of investment, something of that nature, make sure that you have it looked over. Okay, with this nine of coins again, with this. Uh, page of Pentacles here. Again, I feel like, you know, this nine of coins is coming out again, and we already pulled this before. But again, because I feel like, you know, some of you are single, this might be your first time in this, this might be your first time in a, you know, seriously committed relationship. This may be your first marriage. So some of you might be feeling a bit confused on, you know, how, what do I do? How do, how do I be a good wife? How do I be a good husband? Um, so some of you, you know, maybe are needing to seek counsel so that you can find some sort of balance and understand that, you know, 
you do mesh your life with someone in a, from a to a certain extent. Okay, you don't. <laughs> I'm not a believer in you come, you become one. I believe that you, just my personal opinion, and you know we can agree to disagree. Um, but I've been married 16 years with this belief, so um, I I feel that you know you still need to be individuals. And I think some some people who may have, and it, it you know however it works for you. Really, I'm not trying to change anybody's mind. But just remember to be individual. Yes, you do. You do mesh your lives with someone else, and you you know there are moments you have to compromise. You have to learn each other. But still, remember to be an individual in this. Okay, you're not handing your life over, and your partner's not handing their life over to you. And everything has to be just the two of you. That's not how I work in my marriage, um, and it has kept us going for a very long time. But you know, to each its own. But I do feel like you know just. You know, if there's some sort of documentation, have someone look over it, okay? Because there is something, something physical, something tangible that someone's going to give you in regards to this relationship or this partnership, whether it be in business or in love, okay? So making sure you're looking over the fine details of whatever this is, okay? Because it feels like something tangible, okay? Material. Um, and let's see, do we want to clarify this too? I feel like with this two of wands here, I do feel like you guys are just discovering a whole new aspect of life. You know, again, starting a new chapter with someone, maybe some of you have been single all of your life and you haven't had to share, you know, the most intimate moments with anyone because you've always handled it on your own or you've always gone to this person that has transitioned and they've helped you through situations or you've gone to your friends or your family members. And now I feel like, you know, it's almost an, ener an energy of you, you know, being dependent or depending on someone else that's very intimate with you and maybe for some of you it's made you feel uncomfortable but I feel like some of you are starting to understand like okay this is my new normal okay and I think if you can get to that place of this is my new normal because you know things are not the same as they were in the past and they have definitely shifted but I feel like shifted in a good space for you in a good place you know, run with it, okay? Allow this self-discovery to, you know, unfold because you're now step, stepping into your intuitiveness and you're not forcing and you're not going against and trying to be in control of every single aspect of your life, okay? You will run yourself rag, like, I can't even think of the word. You will run yourself into the ground trying to be in control of everything that happens in your life. It's just unrealistic, okay? All right, let, let me pull a, um, actually, let's pull a um, love oracle for you because I feel like this is mainly for the single person or the person who is just getting into re a relationship or this is for someone who isn't married yet okay this person is either here or on their way okay all right so let's pull from the romance angels cards to see what they have to say all right, in regards to this spread, Romance Angels of the Most High, what information do you have for Aries moving forward for this time frame of October 16th through 31st? Children. Your love life is being affected by children. Maybe some of you are thinking about children. Um, the flirt card is coming out. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Um, I feel like, again, with the children, I just feel like for some of you, you're wanting everything. You're wanting children. You're wanting the family. You have romantic, strong romantic feelings for this person. So whoever, whomever this person is, okay, again, we have all signs on the board. It could be air, water, or earth. Um... You could even be dealing with another fire sign as well. There's a lot of romantic feelings. There's a lot of flirtatiousness going on. You, this person makes you feel good. You make this person feel good. I feel like you're thinking about starting this, you know, new foundation again with this two of wands here, this, this self-discovery. Maybe you're thinking about things that you thought you would never have or things that you thought you would never want and things are shifting for you and you're like oh I actually do want these things okay so with the children the flirt and romantic feelings there's definitely some strong feelings here and you guys should definitely entertain this whatever this is okay but again loving yourself first and, and, and that's you stepping into or 
really tuning into that heart space, okay? Because all of the answers are here for you right now, okay? So again, that's your advice is to remember to focus here right now and see how you're feeling. What does it really feel like when you ask yourself questions about this person or your life? You know, what vibe, what, what energy do you feel in your body? Does it feel good? Does it make your heart smile? Go with it if it does, okay? Don't try to go against it. You are not in control of, any, of everything, okay? And remember that devil card came out and it's, you know, about self-sabotage and, uh, and manipulation, manipulation, but that is a sign of you not loving yourself and not putting yourself first. So right now it's about loving yourself. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And I think that this person is going to be able to pick up on those energies, um, you know, and they're not really feeling being nitpicked at, <laughs> you know, or being compared to someone else. From the past okay so really you know move into that energy and you know continue to get to know each other and as you reveal your innermost selves to each other you know your bond is going to continue to deepen and it's going to continue to deepen after the commitment is made too okay that's just going to be stretched uh, scratching the surface when you really commit to one another strongly you're going to learn so much about yourself and so much about them okay aries so I really do hope that you guys are, you know, taking care of yourself this month and really um, stepping into this energy of tapping into your heart chakra, making sure that's aligned with your, the, the feelings that you're feeling in your body. And, you know, stop trying to control things, stop the self-sabotage and the manipulation and really just enjoy life and have a good time. And you will definitely step out of that confusion phase. OK, again, I feel like it's not here to stay. It's just something that's very temporary for you. OK, so listen to the signs. The signs are there for you all, all the all the time, all throughout the day. Um, your loved ones are here watching over you, giving you messages, giving you the answers that you seek. OK, so. Um, enjoy the rest of your month and I will connect with you in for the, no, your November reading and yeah, enjoy yourselves. Be sure to like, share, squat, subscribe, comment, make sure you hit the notification bell. And uh, if you're looking for a personal reading, energy healing, um, if you'd like to donate to my channel, please check the description box below. You can follow me on Instagram at spiritualpreneur. I love to see you there. Thank you again so much for your support and your likes and your comments and your views and all of that. And I will see you soon. Many blessings to you and loving light. Okay. Take care, Aries. Bye.